Hey everybody, good afternoon. Today we're here with Jimmy and Natalie, um, some newfound friends of ours that came down from South Carolina and we want to do a bus tour. Uh, they've got an awesome rig here and they are awesome people. We got to hang out a little bit last night and eat some pizza and sit around the campfire and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get to the important things, their rig. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey guys. So this is our 1997 Thomas International Model 3800 short bus. It is a five window short bus with a handicap door. And so it's about um, 25 feet in length, um, which has been perfect for us. And we can fit in most parking spots as long as we overhang the tail a little bit, which is great. All right, <laughs> let's show you inside. So when you first come in, this is our driver's captain seat. And the first thing you notice is we put it on a swivel. So we wanted to make sure that we could swivel the driver's seat so that we can face our couch and living room area so we can kind of double the amount of living space that we have. Other than that, we kept everything up here pretty much the same. We added window coverings um, to block out the sun and add privacy and a fan for the driver and then a phone mount for whenever we're driving and we need navigation. There's a little switch behind me and then we have a backup camera that allow us to see what's going on behind us that we keep on pretty much at all times, um, which is really nice for backing up and merging onto interstates. So we have a L-shaped couch, technically. Um, it, there's some storage underneath, and this flips up for a little bit more storage in here. And across from our couch, we have a television, and we just pop it up from our kitchen counter. So it's the perfect spot to watch from our couch. We have a little bit of foam in here that protects it while we're driving. And it's a nice way to have a big kitchen counter space and also have a television in our build. So moving on to the kitchen, we have seven and a half feet of kitchen countertop and a two burner gas stove. We have a very large sink over here and underneath the sink we have our ventless propane water heater. Here is our uh, Dometic fridge and freezer. It has two sides and um, we can just slide it out. This is our fridge and this is our freezer. So it's very convenient. We have our silverware drawer here. An AC outlet, which is great for a rice cooker and instant pot. We also have a microwave right here. Um, it's held in by a tension rod when we're driving, and we pretty much only take it down when we want to use it. And then we have some more storage here and in yeah. here. Yeah. So it's nice. We measured exactly how much room we needed to fit two pans and a pot in here, so it's perfect, yeah, perfectly awesome. custom for our stuff. <laughs> we also keep, um, I don't know if we've ever shown it in our videos, but we have these bug screens. And oh. we keep them here. Yeah, cool. So these just have some Velcro on them and we attach them to two of our windows. So they're kind of nice and adjustable. We have our dinette right here. So I knew we really wanted to have a dinette in our build because it works as a really nice workspace and it's also a good place where we can eat together. But this is our <laughs> seat belt and uh, this is where our passenger sits. Um, these can actually fold all the way down so that they tuck completely into the wall. These are our window coverings with some reflectics built in. So they hook into place like that. Uh, if we want to make it look nice and flush, we can fold these in. And her awesome accent wall that she didn't she didn't say anything about because she's being humble, but it's really pretty. We do yeah. love that wall. If I was showing off the dinette, I would show off that. Yes, wall. I figured you would. So, so next to the dinette area, um, well, first I should mention we do have storage in both of these benches, um, and the one closest to you guys at the camera is our diesel heater. We also use it for storage, um, and we have just enough room for our diesel heater. We wanted to center that inside the bus so we can get as much heat everywhere. <laughs> um, 
and we put the control panel for that right next to our heads so we can turn it on um, while we're still in bed. And then for this bench is pretty much where we keep all of our electrical batteries, inverter, solar, ch solar charge controller. And we have a little cutout at the bottom where we keep all of our control panels. Um, that basically is where our solar charge controller is. We have the on off switch for our inverter, as well as our little monitor that tells us the percentage um, that our batteries are at. Next to that, we've got our bathroom. We have a little, we have dimmable lights um, hooked up for our bathroom here. So it is very small. The entrance is about 17 inches and expands to the width of one bus window, which is usually about two and a half feet. And since it was such a weird custom shape, um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is a diagonal wall here. We had to custom create our shower pan. And we did that just by putting waterproof flooring down and then coating it in flex seal. Yeah, it's been really nice. And it's once the toilet is uh, pushed away, um, if you can see, we have a little cubby down there that's also waterproof. And so we just roll the, um, the toilet in there. It's sitting on a cart with wheels. So we just rolled it in there and we have the entire space to take a shower. Yep. And so behind that is, is our bedroom. This is a full size bed that we had to cut the corner off of to be able to fit the shower in. And above us, we've got three overhead cabinets where we keep most of our clothes. Anything that doesn't fit in here pretty much goes beneath me. We have a, um, a hanging, a very small hanging closet, but this has been really helpful for jackets and sweaters and stuff. And then um, other than that, we've got our nightstand back here. It's a little hard to see, but... So we've got um, three cubbies. This is mine. Natalie's is to the left. And, and then, then the laundry hamper on the other side. Exactly. The <laughs> final one is a little laundry chute that you can actually access from the garage. Pretty cool. But that's pretty much it on the inside. Yeah. Oh, and they also, just so you know, they do have two max air fans, which yeah. is really important in a school bus environment. Yeah. But I, I mean, they did it and they did that right. So that's yeah. really, really good. Yeah, I okay. really love having two of these. It's been yes. really nice, very worth it. Yeah. And last but not least, Natalie's favorite part of the bus and mine <laughs> is. Let's see if I can stand back. The LEDs we installed. <laughs> so they run all the way from the front door all the way back and we've got them winding around the bedroom around here too. Yeah. So we can Pretty nice. set whatever color, depending on our moods. <laughs> and um, another thing that she um, has told me before, that this can actually swivel outside so that you can use that outside as well. It's a great um, thing to implement into your bus when you think about your sink where it's located and then try to put it to a window where you can get it outside like that. So yeah. rinse things off. And Natalie did all of these curtains and stuff, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, I did. It was painstaking. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's really creative how she how she did that. I mean, I've never seen anybody do it like that. So um, kudos to you for that. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that was my first time really sewing and like since I was a child. So <laughs> If I can do it, anyone can. <laughs> right. And just like Chris and I, I mean, they're a couple that has never done anything like this before, no construction background or anything. And they th fortunately had access to Jimmy's dad's workshop and tools, which if you want to check out their channel and watch their whole build series, and they actually did a pretty quick build. So um, six months or something yeah. timeline. Yeah. So there's quite a few videos, but they keep them really good and short and they're easy to watch and you can just sit and binge watch them. So <laughs> check out their build series and see how they tackled the challenges along the way and the problem solving that you have to do in these types of builds. So thank you guys for allowing us to do this tour of your bus. Yeah, thank and you. Yeah, thank you for having thank us. Thank you guys for coming and we've really enjoyed you guys being here. So, all right, <laughs> have a great day.